I'm a nutritionist and there are 10 things that I only buy from Costco because they're actually really high quality, supportive of my wellness goals and save me a ton of money. So let's go shopping and I'll share those 10 items so you can start saving money on your wellness goals too. All right, so I love adding this cheddar cheese to my eggs or slicing it on the side to add to my salads. It helps to add protein and high quality fat. Cheddar cheese is also aged, so it's extremely low in lactose, making it a good option for even those who are lactose intolerant. I get this Kerrygold cheddar, which I've seen this same cheese at Whole Foods, and it's about triple the price. So definitely getting it at Costco is a must. For salted butter, I've been going with the grass-fed Kirkland. This is for mostly my cooking. It's only $9.99 a pound, which is great. But for unsalted, for Trevor's Keto Coffee, we've been still getting Kerrygold, which is $14.49 a pound. Still really good, because there's four in each pack. They don't have unsalted for the other grass-fed option for Kirkland. Still a good option. And I make sure to always skip over this entire aisle. Even at Costco, you're so much better off making your own coconut milk. And it literally takes like three to five minutes to make. I have a recipe. I'll have it linked in the description below, which if you use coconut milk daily to make like smoothies or chia puddings, this swap alone will save you like $700 a year. It's nuts. Okay, this one blew my mind when I first found this at Costco, but I can get three pound bags of blueberries for like, what is it, eight or nine dollars? Those are the price. Where instead, if you buy frozen blueberries at like Whole Foods or Lazy Acres, for one of those eight ounce packages, it's like five dollars. So it's literally like one sixth the price for frozen blueberries at Costco. And I love using frozen blueberries in my keto oatmeal, my chia puddings, my smoothies. So this one was a huge savings for me. Oh, four pounds. I thought it was only three pounds. And it's ten dollars. That's like two dollars a pound. Love it. We use this a lot. Organic, literally just strawberries. And then I also do get my frozen strawberries and pineapples from Costco as well, which again is like a quarter of the price versus getting it at like Whole Foods. I do like variety in my smoothies, so I always make sure to have like blueberries, strawberries, or pineapple in my freezer. Normally we also get chia seeds and they're like, $6 for I think like a three pound or four pound bag, which is a great deal for chia seeds, but we've gone up and down. We're getting so many steps going up and down. We can't find them today. Hmm. This is the bag of chia seeds we normally get from Costco that we can find today, but it is three pounds and I believe it's usually either six to eight dollars for this three pound bag. Okay, next up is pine nuts. These are generally super expensive at health food stores, even for the non-organic variety. I don't use pine nuts all the time, but I do like to have them on hand because I like to make pesto and I like to throw pine nuts in salads or various recipes. And it's probably about half the price at Costco, even though this looks expensive, it's a lot less expensive at Costco. Which if you guys are liking this video so far, it would really mean the world to me if you gave this video a thumbs up. It's a free way to support the channel and really does go a long way. Thank you so much and back to the video. Okay, next up is Parmesan. This is actually another cheese I use quite a bit in my cooking. It's a really high quality source of protein and a high quality source of fat. In fact, Parmesan is one of the highest sources of protein from cheese, but real Parmesan can be super expensive at grocery stores. This might look expensive even at Costco, but this real Parm is still probably about half the price than Whole Foods. Canned tuna gets a bad reputation for being high in mercury, but I really like the brand Safe Catch because they test for mercury and are the lowest on the market. It's also such a convenient source of protein that I just always make sure to have on hand and in my pantry because since it's canned, it takes forever to go bad. And if there's just ever that circumstance where I didn't have time to make a lunch, I can always grab a can of tuna and just quickly make a tuna salad to eat at my desk. Hemp seeds are another high quality plant-based fat that I use in my smoothies. It's rich in plant-based omega-3 fats and I buy mine in bulk at Costco pretty much for all of these different seed items. If I can find them, I like to get them in bulk at Costco because I do use them on a very frequent basis. Okay, olive oil. This is another one that freaking blew my mind. Kirkland's organic olive oil is actually a really high quality olive oil and it tastes good. I mean, the one not as great thing is that it is stored in plastic, but I actually just transferred mine to this glass bottle that cost me like $4 at Home Goods. Now, I used to buy my olive oil at Whole Foods and it was like about $14 for literally half this size. At Costco, I'm getting legitimately double the amount of olive oil for the exact same price. Okay, now I know I said 10 things, but when I actually got to Costco, I quickly realized, wow, there's actually a lot of other things that I do get here on a frequent basis because I just keep on discovering more and more products. So I have a couple more for you guys. 
Do we get these Costco impulse buy? This was a fairly recent one and it's wild caught salmon. Now I like to get my meat through butcher box. I don't love salmon, so it's not something that I want to consistently have in my monthly butcher box. So instead when I want it, I get it at Costco. And they actually have wild caught salmon at Costco. And when I compared it to getting wild caught at Whole Foods, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was $6 per pound less expensive at Costco than at Whole Foods. That's good. Cut it up. And then we just make our own servings. Save it for later. Okay, the next ones I get are almond butter and peanut butter. This was another mind blowing one because both of these are organic, both without any added oils, and both are so much less expensive than buying it at Whole Foods. I use both of these every single week. My husband Trevor uses peanut butter every single week. At Whole Foods, I used to buy the same size jar that Costco sells for the peanut butter, but a single one of those jars cost about $6. And for two of them at Costco, it costs about $10. So it's about a dollar less per jar. Okay, another recent find was the tomato paste and tomato sauce. Both organic, both literally the exact same product as the one that I was getting at Whole Foods. I mean, not literally the same product. This one's, I think, the Kirkland brand. But when you look at the ingredients, the exact same. And I would buy those little tomato paste cans from Whole Foods and each one would be about like $1.29. And for this pack of 12 of the tomato paste organic at Costco, it was only $8.49. So let's just do that math. So it's about 71 cents per can versus like $1.29. It's like 50 cents less per can. Can. And I actually do use tomato paste and tomato sauce quite a bit because I do like to make sauces or soups or stews or chilies that call for tomato paste or tomato sauce. Plus, since it's in a can, it takes forever to go bad. So just one of those convenient items to always have on hand. There are some other honorable mentions, but maybe I'll do another video on Costco in the future. But if you wanna see what I eat in a day that uses a lot of the ingredients that I actually get from Costco, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.